Hi, I'm Cheryl Morales of the Newport News Tourism Office and welcome to What's New in Newport News. Today's show is about one of the city's exciting events, the One City Marathon. Once again, good luck runners. It's an exciting weekend event that will include a 26.2 mile marathon, other races and other community activities. And with me today is Owen Miller, as well as Jason Todd from Flat Out Events. Well, Owen, could you give us some of the highlights? Sure. The festivities begin on Friday with the uh, Health and Wellness Expo with our presenting sponsor, Riverside Health System. Um, it's a fun activity for the whole family. There'll be vendors there. We're also providing some programming for the first time. It's generally health and wellness related, but we encourage anybody to come out. It's open to the public. And then on Saturday, we continue with the Health and Wellness Expo. And then finally, we'll uh, the real events kick Start off the off. next day. Right. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Way to go, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy that race. And uh, we have five races going on on Sunday morning now. Um, so we've still got uh, the marathon and the marathon relay. Uh, we also have the Maritime 8K, uh, the Nautical Mile, which is our fun run. And our newest addition is the Bayport Half Marathon. Way to go, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy that race. You are warriors out on that road. Whatever it be, if you're listening to music, you have a quote. Jason, tell me, what's the difference between the relay then and a half marathon? Mm -hmm. you no, know, the relay, obviously the team component is, is uh, a big hit uh, within that event. Uh, you have two to four people that can team up and run the full marathon distance. Uh, but we've also had uh, a lot of people that said, well, we just want to split it evenly in half and one person run the first half and one person run the second half. And we weren't really sure, you know, with adding the half, would people just do the half instead of the relay? Uh, but so far, it seems that, you know, we've still got people that want to do it as a team. And then we have the folks that just want to do uh, the half marathon distance uh, on their own. So uh, it, okay. I think we've, you know, so far we've made the right decision to keep both options. It's great to have all those options. Yeah. Yep. So tell me when the, well, it would be the marathon and the relay and the half marathon. They would all yep. start together, right? Uh, they are going to start at the same time. Um, so the marathon and the marathon relay, the person who's running the first leg, uh, still go up to Newport News Park uh, and start from there. And the half marathon is actually going to start at the half marathon point, which is now Mitchville High School. Um, so we've made some adjustments uh, on the course to allow for that to happen. Um, our halfway point used to be uh, just past Menchville, uh, right at the corner of Boxley and, and Warwick. And, uh, and we pulled it back over to Menchville because we, we had the parking there. We had a lot of space to accommodate uh, starting the race there. Um, and so in order to do that, uh, we had to make some additions to the first half of the marathon course uh, and then make some subtractions on the second half to make it all work. And I think for, for having to manage 26 miles of course, uh, it really worked out nicely. Uh, the half marathon and the second half of the marathon share the exact same route. So it's not like half marathoners got to do one thing and marathoners got to do, do another. It's, it's very clean and very nice. And I think the course even got faster um, than it used to be. We were able to take out some of the windier, twistier parts of the course um, and uh, make it more of a straight shot. So I, especially late in the race, I think runners are going to appreciate that. Um, but going back to the marathon and the relay, uh, you know, at Newport News Park, uh, the start time is 7 a.m. still, uh, 7 a.m. for the um, half marathon as well. Um, you can, you have two options as far as getting there in the morning. Uh, you can be dropped off at either one and then your support person can drive downtown and meet you at the finish line. Um, if you're planning to take one of our shuttles though, uh, we want to stress that we only have shuttles running from the finish to the starts, not or yeah, in the morning, yes, not yes, from not the finish the to the start later in, in the day. We always seem to have a few people that get downtown after the race and they're looking for the shuttle uh, back to the start line. Um, there's not one. So you park at the finish, take the shuttle to the start, and then basically run back to your vehicle. Very good. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting that the half marathon is going to start the same time as the full <clears throat> marathon in different yeah. locations. Yep. 
I see. Yeah, okay. So that's, you know, a lot going on there um, is, at one time. There is. And um, the timing of that, I'm impressed yeah. on how to, to calculate, yeah. you know, that. But that's great. Yep. So and leave it up to the experts. Exactly. <laughs> Flat out. Yeah. You got it. We'll, we'll see. You. You know, we'll see after this year. But uh, uh, no, I think it will work out nicely. Uh, we know that our front marathoners will catch up at some point to, to the back of the half marathon. We think somewhere uh, around uh, mile 18 or so uh, in the CNU Mariners Museum area is what we're estimating. But, um, you know, we'll kind of see how it goes this year and, and make any adjustments we need to make after that. Well, the community certainly comes out for this, don't, doesn't it? You're absolutely right, yeah. I mean, it's one of the things that we hear every year from runners is how much they appreciate the community support and they line the course and it, it's great, great atmosphere every year. I, I see people out there with coffee cups in their robe, yeah. literally, yeah. you know, cheering them on, you know, because it is early for some of these sure. you know, at the sure. beginning, you know, of the race. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's great to see the community support for Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. And I think they, I will add, I think they've kind of learned that they can stay inside until they see, like, all the police cars go by at first because I'm going by at the front of the race and it, it feels like there's not as many. But then everybody from the back of the race reports, yeah, there were so many people here and, and so forth. So they, they've kind of learned that they can stay warm as long as possible and then come out and cheer once they see the, the lead trucks go by. So. It's speaking of warm, it's going to be very mild and nice this year, right? We hope so. There we go. <laughs> uh, tell us about the 8K. Yeah. Now, how um, does that race run? Sure. Uh, so the 8K is, is uh, all within the downtown area. Um, so what that required us to do was just shift the start line from West Avenue over to the City Hall Visitors Lot. So we just moved it over a block basically. Um, th so they'll start right there in that Visitors Lot. I think that's a nice change because now everything is kind of in that wide open space. You can see the finish line from the start line. So I think it pulls everything together um, really nice. Uh, and then the route stays the same, heading over to Jefferson, back over to the downtown area. Uh, and then we shifted up one block on the turnaround. So instead of cutting across 60th Street, we now cut across 61st Street and then same route back to the finish. Uh, so again, think it, it's a, uh, you know, it's a flat course. You got the two overpasses uh, on, on, on your way to Jefferson and back over. Uh, and as long as there's not a huge headwind, it's a it's pretty good course, so. And, and at the same time or within that time, they meet up with the one nautical mile, is that right? Uh, no, no, so the nautical mile is a little later in the morning. Okay. Um, what will happen this year because of the half marathon uh, is that there will be some half runners that have already made it downtown by the time that starts. So um, what we did uh, to accommodate the, the hand cycle division in, in the race, we moved the hand cycle division to just the half marathon. And they're gonna start uh, at 6.59 and we expect that all of those hand cycles will get to the finish line first. So there won't be any, uh, what we've had in the past where they're coming behind 8Kers and trying to maneuver their way through. Um, so we think it's you know safer and more convenient for, for just the race as a whole. Um, the 8K starts at 8.15 now, so it's pushed back a little bit. Um, so we, we expect we'll have a handful of half marathoners. Um, you know, we think our winning time could be as, as fast as an hour, seven, hour, eight. Um, and then uh, and then the 8K will kind of blend in at 61st Street with, with that front part of the half marathon. The finish line. It's really significant for Newport News, isn't it? It is. So, I mean, the, the one city celebration we've had since the inaugural year, um, it's been a great success. Uh, it's great for, obviously, the, the runners, participants who, who finish the race. Uh, but it's also great for the community members that they can come on out. You know, once again, that aspect of the community involvement coming out, cheering on the runners as they finish up the race, handing out medals. Um, it should be a good atmosphere once again this year. The finish line itself is really a, a neat story, too. Sure. Because it's um, the Victory Arch and a, a memorial in Newport News. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. Although we're a little further back from the arch and runners uh, won't technically run through the arch, um, they'll finish up right before that and then make the turn as we head to Superblock. We think as far as the ease for the runners, it'll actually be closer to where they'll eventually end up for the One City Celebration. What can we expect there? Sure, so once again for the uh, One City Celebration, it should be a great time. So we'll have uh, activities for, for the participants and the families that are involved. We'll also have food vendors, um, music. Yes. So I know the runners will be excited about it and we think, we think it should be a good atmosphere. It's a green event too. 
It is, absolutely, you're correct. So what is it, v, uh, VA Green Travel Alliance has once again certified the event as a, as a green event. And we're working towards it as we have every year to hopefully make it a zero waste event as well. So that's the goal. Hopefully we'll get there this year. I know that the One City Celebration is also a great place for runners because there's a lot going on there for them. Tell us what will happen. Yeah, well, I think a, a lot of the things that Owen mentioned are, are what they enjoy as well, the food. Uh, going back to the uh, food truck uh, um, uh, layout this year uh, where um, they, they can redeem their food ticket uh, for one of the food items from the food trucks that are present there. Um, so options, uh, they like options. Um, as Owen mentioned, uh, tradition being there. Um, and probably the, the biggest addition to last year that everybody loved was the tents um, that were warm yes. and a place to, uh, to find shelter after the race as well. So um, we know those will be there again. Uh, if we have a beautiful day, um, we won't you know, we won't need it as much, but they're there if we do. Right. As well for the runners, uh, spectators can also have a great vantage point. That's right. Being right along Washington Avenue, um, seeing their runners come uh, by within that last uh, point one or two miles uh, before the finish. Um, there's going to be some bleachers there for them to, to view from. So I think that's going to add a new element to the event as well. Give them that final push to the finish. Absolutely. And everyone loves to see them running through the, the finish line. So yep. that's great. Uh, and there's no admission. Is that right for this as well? You're what correct. a great weekend, yeah. really. Yeah. Put this on your calendar. Um, where do you recommend people to park? Yeah, well, there's going to be a parking map that, that does get put on the uh, website. Um, we're waiting for the final version of that. Um, but there's plenty of parking. There, there's uh, all the surface lots downtown uh, that aren't in use because it's a Sunday. Um, ample parking down there. Uh, we really recommend people choosing to park down there, especially uh, those that need to go up to start lines and relay exchanges. Just park down there and take a shuttle. It, it makes the day uh, much easier. And what is the website? Yeah, uh, onecitymarathon.com. Got it. <laughs> That's great. Easy that. Very easy. Well, I know it takes a village to put on an event such as this. So who helps us in our village here? We're, we're fortunate every year. Obviously, city staff plays a large role, and we, we'd be remiss if we didn't thank them. Um, flat out events, our professionals involved do a great job every year, so happy to have them back. Um, and then volunteers. You know, we last year, I think we had about 750 volunteers. I think this year we anticipate 800. So once again, it's an opportunity for the community to come out and get involved. And, and we've got an opportunity in just about anything you can imagine for them to assist us with. And then finally, our, our sponsors, our local sponsors. You know, we've got some great business organizations that have contributed every year. Uh, once again, we've got some uh, wonderful groups back again, obviously highlighted by our presenting sponsor, the Newport News Shipyard. So we're really appreciative of everything they contribute, not only to the One City Marathon, but also to the community at large. So we couldn't do it without all those groups. That's great. And, and to find out more information about uh, our sponsors, about volunteering or registering, where does one go? Just like everything else, back to the uh, One City Marathon website, so www.onecitymarathon.com. All right, I know that's a lot of information we've covered, but have we forgotten anything or is there anything you'd like to add? I, th I think we covered everything. I would just once again invite folks to come on out, participate in the activities as well as obviously the races. Should be an opportunity for everyone to get involved and so join us for the One City Marathon. Well, thank you guys. I'll be there for sure. Absolutely. Great. Thanks, Cheryl. And I want to thank you for watching. As always, for more information, you can go to our website as well, newport-news.org. See you there.